Hi student! We have already studied about can and can't. Nesta semana, estamos estudando sobre could and couldn't. So these verbs are modal verbs, ok? Let's see some examples. Let's go! Could When I was a baby, my mom could hold me. Now she can't. Quando eu era um bebê, minha mãe conseguia me carregar. Agora ela não consegue. When I was a baby, I couldn't ride a bike. Now I can. So look at these examples, students. Couldn't é a forma negativa de could. E can't is the negative form of can. When I was a baby, I couldn't ride a bike. Now I can. Então podemos notar que could and couldn't in these examples are in the past. So can is a modal verb that's in the present and it's positive. Affirmative. Can't is in the present and it's negative. Could is in the past and it's positive, affirmative. Couldn't is in the past and it's negative. Look at the examples. When I was four years old, I couldn't speak English. Now I can. When I was one year old, I couldn't climb a tree, but now I can. When I was at school, I could play with my friends, but now I can't. When I was at school, I could hug my teachers, but now I can't. Okay, so now we know that could is the past of can and couldn't is the past of can't. But students, there are other ways to use the verb could. We can use could to ask a favor. For example, could you take the book for me, please? Você poderia pegar o livro para mim, por favor? Could you take the book for me, please? Para pedir o mesmo favor, também poderíamos usar a palavra can. For example, Can you take the book for me, please? Você pode pegar o livro para mim, por favor? Can you take the book for me, please? But, when we use the word could, it sounds more polite. Do you ever need to ask for help? Learn how to use modal verbs to ask for help and make other requests. Listen for can and could in this story. Last Saturday, before I went to the library, I called my friend and asked to use his bike. Hi, Matt. Can I borrow your bike? Sure. On my way to the library, I got lost. Excuse me, could you please give me directions to the library? Of course. Go straight and then turn right. The library is on the left. There are several modal verbs we use to make requests. Can and could are two of them. Could is more polite than can, but adding please to any request makes it more polite. Unlike other modal verbs for requests, we can use both you and I after can and could. Can you help me with my homework? Can I borrow your car? Could you lend me a hand? Could I speak to your manager, please? Também podemos usar a palavra could para expressar possibility. For example, It could have been worse. Poderia ter sido pior. It could have been worse. This sentence expresses possibility. Possibilidade. It could have been worse. Pay attention. Here we have another important detail. 
outro detalhe importante. Another important detail. Let's see it. When you want to affirm something in a positive sentence, you say, for example, I could do it for you. Eu poderia fazer isso para você. I could do it for you. Agora, se for uma pergunta, if it's a question, a gente vai trocar o could com why. Could I do it for you? Eu poderia fazer isso para você? Could I do it for you? Now, pay attention to this example. Here we have a question. Could you repeat? Could you repeat? And now we have an affirmative sentence. You could repeat. You could repeat. Hi children. I am Mehmet. I am your teacher's neighbor. This is my wife Sevji. Hello children. I am Sevgi. We are so happy to meet you. Today, I will talk about my and Mehmet's past abilities and disabilities. When I was young, I could play piano. I couldn't climb a mountain. When Sevgi was young, she could ride a bicycle. Ha ha ha. That is true. Also, when I was young, I could sing a song, but I couldn't run fast. I could swim. These are our abilities and disabilities when we were young. See you later. So that's it, kids. Kisses and bye-bye.